What is up, everybody? Welcome to today's YouTube video. Um, it is a game day, but I am starting off today. Um, I'm at the dentist, uh, so I have a quick appointment to run and do that. Then, obviously, probably, hopefully, get some food, head back home, uh, finish with some things that I have to do, and then head on over to my game, which is a playoff game. Um, I'm hoping that we have enough people show up to this game. Um, we don't have a repeat performance of the last week. Um, let me see. It is if we win, we would play again right after against a harder, tougher team. So I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm hoping that we can surprise ourselves, hopefully, and actually, you know, win a game since we didn't win a single game this season. That's bad. We haven't had a winless season in a very, very long time, man. <sighs> Anyways, um, I'm going to head on inside to the dentist, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so I'm done with my dentist appointment. All is good. All is well, thankfully. Still, no cavities, nothing like that. Nothing major. Um, so now I'm going to get some food, probably, and head home and get in a little bit of rest um, and some other things before it's time to go to game time. Um, looks like the other team, um, what might not have enough players from what I've been reached out and asked or told for the first game. So I don't know if that's going to stay like that. Um, because it is playoffs and you can't borrow. So far we have more players actually signed up to come. So that might help us out, hopefully, at least to win one game. Um, not ideal, not the way I would like to win, but a win is a win, of course. Now, that's granted if it stays like that. And we still have to go out there and win. So there's a lot of variables still that have to happen. Anyway, I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch. So let's just keep it at we got to win, we got a game to play, and we'll go from there. All right, so let's head on home. So I know I've talked about this before in like a previous video, but customer service is just so important in how you treat your customers or people in general. Um, right now, I placed an online order for some wings. I'm not gonna say the place. Um, and uh, I put it at 11 and the pickup was 21, whatever. So, Naturally, you would think like they get their online orders. They got to put them in right well a Worker walked in ordered his food like probably at like 11 05 or something like that and then another customer walked in and they all got their food before me mind you I placed it right at 11 online and You know, yeah, they give me the food and they say sorry or whatever But it's like I saw two people that came and order their food you know after me basically how do they get their food first yeah again customer service and how you treat people you know is important to me and it means a lot and there's a reason why I haven't gone back to this place in a long time but I might have to go back to not visiting that place again what is everybody welcome to a new day no, I'm just kidding um, still the same day I am headed off to my game um, so they actually, the team that we were going to play forfeited, so we are playing um, the second game basically. So we technically, we won by default. Not fun, not ideal. Um, I still wanted to play them and the guy who runs it told them, he said he told me that he tried to get them to play. They probably could have beat us anyway, um, but they, they didn't want to. So yeah, so now. I got a little bit more time at least, and um, I am headed to my game. I don't know if we're going to have a full squad. That's why they should have played us, honestly. So I don't know if I'm going to have a full squad, but we're going to see. And we're just going to try our hardest. There's no pressure. We are the second to last team, so this team is obviously, like, number one or two. I'm not sure. Um, we shouldn't be playing the number one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it works, but anyway, so, yeah. 
So let's get on over there and see what happens. What is up everybody here at that one abandoned mall? I had to stop and use a restroom really quick, so I figured that I would just try to record. Um, it looks like there's a lot less stores. Oh, it looks like they got rid of the sorry, hope they can hear me. It looks like they got rid of the, the champs. I think it's gone. Finally, wow. So this mall had a champs, of course, and it looks like it is gone. So basically, the Champ Sports was right here. This was like their best store that they had. And it is now gone and not here anymore. I have not been here since the last time that I recorded. So kind of sad. I'm going to walk around really quick because I have just a little bit of time. Looks like the Macy's is still open at least. But the Champs is no longer here. So at least the Macy's is still here. I don't know how many other stores are going to be left. I will pop in there really quick. There's actually some traffic here today. Some people, I don't know, just walking around. I'm maybe going to the movies. I'm going to see if the theater is still there. The cool thing is I haven't gotten too many looks with my camera. So that's cool. That's me right there. I don't know if you can see me. There. What's up? What to do? But yeah. I think maybe what is getting traffic right now is probably the theater, if I had to guess. Okay, so yeah, it does look, sorry, it's loud with the, they got their little um, water fall going. <laughs> uh, theater is still up there. Um, this looks like a home spot that's open. Um, they do have a Spencer still. They still have... A hot topic but other than that I don't really have anything I never I even checked out over here actually um, see what this is oh but there's a dick sporting goods right across the street and this is something maybe graphics probably not anything special um yeah I'll show you guys the directory what it used to look like there was a Dillard's was over there. You can go upstairs and show you guys a little bit more just because it's interesting to me how malls look at all these you had Champs, Finish Line, all this stuff. I mean, JCPenney's at one point, but it's all gone now. So, yeah, basically, it's nostalgic to come here to think about like we used to go shopping at a mall to get stuff. And now we just order online. If we need to, we go into the store. But most everything is ordering online. Um, so yeah, it's different, different times, I guess, that we live in. But they haven't fixed this um, escalator. Can't think of the right word. You, know, you got your little water fountain thing, which is cool, I guess. Um, over here was more stores that they had. I think what they use this for more now is like sometimes they have like kids performances. One time I came here and they had some like dancing thing going on. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at all these stores behind me. Empty. Empty. And one of those YouTubers that I watch, um, he actually, after I posted, like the next week he posted it because he was going around the malls and stuff. And he said he's around from the area. And he said it used to be like popping. This used to be the mall to get sneakers and everything. So it's just sad to go down. Um, it's sad to see malls just disappear. And this is where the Spencer's was at. Or is. Um, it looks like they closed early. I don't know. I close early. 
Oh man. They do have leasing options. Hmm. I don't know what you would want to put here. Or what would flourish or actually work, but you can put a store here. Hmm, interesting. This noisy ass old ass escalator. <laughs> Just in the hell of it. You know, I couldn't come here and not take the trusty, crazy, nice elevator. So I'm about to do that. You know, for the full experience to work over there. <laughs> Anyways, let's hope we make it. Hope that it's okay. We're going down. Now. This is a scary elevator. It goes. Just close it. I hope I can make it. Just kidding. It should be fine. It should be okay. Here we go. about that I'm gonna cut the camera there yes. well guys there you have it um the small is dying slowly I don't think there'll be more stores opening and I wonder how those stores like Spencer's and Hot Topic actually stay open there's like a you know rent to Cedos and then there's like a more fashion for like women girls basically that's it and then I have, I have like a radio right here oh actually back there it looks like there's green screen i wonder if they do the news or something over there i'm not sure or you can film there or someone's renting that space to like film like a podcast or something i'm not sure um but yeah anyways we're gonna get on out of here because it is getting late and i want to make it to my game on time and yeah they're filming something with the green screen definitely there and then there's um layer bread is still back there so I don't know. Maybe that's keeping them all alive a little bit. I'll come back in like two or three months later. Set to my game. All right, guys, I am home now. Um, just got home from my game. I need to jump in the shower, probably eat something. Uh, but the game, yeah. Um, we beat the first place team. Beat the first place team. Knocked them out of the playoffs. We are in the semis um, now, and hopefully we can make it to the final. Um, yeah, we, we, we gutted it out. Stayed 0-0. And I actually hit the game winner, uh, golden goal, in overtime. Um, we have to for for the for the overtimes we have to take off like two players, I believe it is. Yeah, we take off two players, so yeah, uh, you know, it's very limited. And we just got the the first our first chance. We got a breakaway, and I held onto the ball, tried to dribble it, cut across. Guy hit it, but didn't steal it. I got it again. And shot it from far away, bent it in, and back of the net. And we celebrated like crazy. Um, we knocked out the first place team, so that's pretty good. Um, we'll be back next week um, for the sem semis and probably the final if we would win. Um, which, I mean, if we play like we did tonight, there's no reason why we can't make the final. I mean, it's just getting them to understand and buy, like, we have to bring the same energy. That it was it was crazy. I don't know. Something happened. I don't know. I kind of, you know, did the whole trick of apologizing, making people feel, you know, accepted and, and wanted without actually having to apologize and, and do all that. So 
Um, you know, I, it's important to me. I hate losing more than I love winning. Like losing, I hate it with passion. And, you know, I just had to swallow my pride for a little bit. And, you know, um, I've just said, you know what? I'm going to play striker. I'm going to play up top. You guys do what you want. Figure out the formation, what you want. But I'm playing up top. I'm going to stay out of the defense. Um, whatever. I'm not going to say nothing. Leave me up top. And today it actually worked. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think that I'm pretty sure the team underestimated us and myself on goal kicks. I mean, I was wide open. They weren't. I was expecting, you know, to feel someone on my back when the goal kicks were coming to me, and they weren't. So I was able to just control the ball, take my time, turn around, and either look for a pass or take a shot. And I mean, I kept. I kept getting goal kicks or passes, and, you know, I think one time someone tried to guard me with my back and fouled me. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't know. They, I think they really didn't think that we were going to win or beat them. Um, I I don't think I've ever beaten this team. Maybe I beat them once in all my time of being in this league for all these years. This has been like the same core group of um, players. And I've never been able to beat them. I don't recall beating them, maybe tying them or whatever. But this is my first time beating them. Um, and, yeah, I don't know. It was just a surreal moment. I remember just dribbling and thinking, all right, I got two teammates there and there. Um, and honestly, didn't even look at goal, head down, but just knowing where my teammates were and said, you know what, let me take this shot. I think the goal's right here. Curved it in. Boom, back of the net from about 20 yards back. I'm not sure, something like that. Um, but, yeah, so picked up the win. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, usually we out in the first round of the playoffs. We are actually playing a team that we lost to last season's playoffs where we got beat 1-0. Um, but we didn't get to play them in the season for some reason. I don't know. There's like 16 teams, and we played six teams from our division and one comp which i don't understand i don't get that at all but i don't know so basically we're playing this team first time in a long time um so yeah we'll see how it goes as long as we can come back with the same energy the same um desire and all that and the will to win the will to win i mean that has to come first i think we got a good chance um, so i don't know i'm gonna go take a shower probably eat something and go to bed. Hopefully I can shut this brain off because um, it's going at a thousand miles per hour right now still. Um, but yeah, I am tired, but not mentally tired. I don't know if that makes sense uh, to any of you guys. Um, but yeah, so anyways, guys, thanks for watching this random vlog, of course, with different things. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.